I swear this is not clickbait, a battle royale is coming to Halo Infinite matchmaking. But it's not that Tatanka mode we've been talking about for years, that's been kind of scrapped or put on the back burner and going to be reworked probably for whatever the next Halo experience is going to be. This is currently in the game right now, but we can expect to have this come into matchmaking sometime this year. Because this was recently tweeted out, saying soon TM with the Forge Falcons version of a battle royale within Forge possibly coming to matchmaking in Halo Infinite. If you guys like these news and informational videos, make sure to tap like and subscribe to keep yourself up to date. Let's get right back into those details. Yeah, I know, leaks and rumors, but come on, let's be real. Most of the leaks and rumors we've seen about Halo Infinite when it comes to like leaked maps, leaked content, pretty much all those become true. And this Battle Royale mode was incredibly popular when it dropped. We had some very popular content creators make videos and content about this Battle Royale in particular. Specifically, Jack Frags had a video with over 600,000 views just doing a typical playthrough thing that he does, as well as Tim the Tatman with some similar amount of views doing a live stream about this battle royale as well because people want a battle royale within Halo. Why is that? Because, well, battle royale is still the most popular mode within the FPS genre. And honestly, Halo would work really well for a battle royale, but somehow we just haven't received it for Halo Infinite. It doesn't look like it's happening anytime soon, officially, but it will be coming to matchmaking soon. And why this Forge version of battle royale actually really works. So you're probably thinking like, oh, it's within Forge. So it's like small player counts. It's going to be limited. So it's not really going to be that fun. True, it is limited to 24 players like your typical big team battle mode but other than that this mode plays just like a regular battle royale i even have a video on my channel showcasing the gameplay and playing it live and the cool thing about this battle royale mode that's been made within forge it supports solos duos trios and quads has points of interest like you would expect in the battle royale mode, a dynamic closing zone, so then it will actually not be the same closing zone every single time, which is huge for a mode like this. Vehicles, airdrops coming in with like some power weapons, procedurally generated terrain, which if I remember correctly talking with the forgers about this, they are more kind of like they have certain sets of different types of terrain that will spawn in for each time you play. So it's not going to be the exact same map every single time like yeah all the major points of interest are the same but the terrain to get to those points of interest may change up and there is also ai on the map as well which you can utilize to earn more points to then spend to be able to earn better weapons within the map the forge falcons really have thought about everything you would want to have in a battle royale within the limitations of forge and player counts and likely there will be changes made to whatever is available right now within forge as it going into matchmaking it's a different type of beast so there might be some more improvements or changes made to this mode to have it fit the matchmaking experience better. The main thing these forgers and 343 need to do to make sure when they implement this battle royale into matchmaking is that you're able to play with your friends in some capacity. That was the biggest drawback when it comes to Last Spartan Standing, which is effectively a battle royale, which Personally, I really enjoyed the mode. While a really fun take on the Halo experience, and I played it a ton, it was the least played mode by far within all the modes available for Halo Infinite. I think mainly that's because it was only available for solos, and it was a rather repetitive experience, and also on the regular BTB maps, which the spawning didn't really quite work out super well because you would basically have people respawning at either ends of the map and then people would have high grounds at either one of those bases because these maps were designed for a big team battle, not necessarily a free for all type mode. And so you can kind of farm kills and it really wasn't that exciting to play. Oh, and the respawn mechanic in this battle royale that the Forge Falcons made is so much better. They actually have a gulag you can go into win your fight and then spawn back in drop back in and land where you want to unlike last spartan standing where oftentimes you would spawn outside of the zone taking in damage and so you had to rush into the map at like half shields and then you get taken out anyways since we know 343 are shifting focus away from halo infinite onto the next halo project this is one of the best ways 343 can do to keep Halo Infinite active, alive, and still have fun, exciting things to do within the game. We do know that we will be receiving a squad battle update, which a lot of leaks and rumors showcase that the classic Halo 2 map relic will be thrown in with that squad battles update. And we have seen some leaks about a Husky Raid map refresh coming around actually relatively soon. So 2024 might be the year of Forge content when it comes to Halo Infinite, but it's going to be some good stuff. 